Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys a little bit about the Grim Dawn expansion and what I'm going to be playing. Now this is not like an actual build guide of course. I haven't played Grim Dawn in like a year or so. So I, you know, a lot of information is missing from my brain that will fill in very quickly as I play the expansion. But I just want to give you guys an overview. Maybe you want to play something similar, you know. Remember that you can pretty much get to near endgame with pretty much whatever. It's it's actually progressing through endgame when you have to understand the mechanics of Grimdon and doing a lot of the like super bosses and mythicals and whatever. So, we're going to be playing the new class, Resident Sleeper Oathkeeper, because everyone's going to be playing it. Mainly because I've never seen this class before. And if you didn't know, uh, one thing to note is that... It is the only other class that has to do with shields. Previously, it was only soldiers. So we're going to do this real quick because the expansion drops in about 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and check it out. So we've got a passive here called Safeguard. Basically, while we have a shield in our hand, we gain bonuses. This build is going to be stacking physical damage. That's pretty much about it for now. It's going to be physical and crit. We're not going to be trying out uh, internal trauma or anything else. So we've got Safeguard. We've got Presence of Virtue, which is going to be a buff that we toggle on, which pretty much is going to be for Heaven, uh, or Haven, sorry, which increases our shield block amount, block chance, healing effect, and flat health. Healing effect actually applies to Life Leech as well. Uh, and then just one point in Rebuke. Now, note to self that a lot of these points are going to be like shifted around because as you get plus to all skill levels, you will slowly pull points out due to diminishing returns. It's kind of hard to explain right now. Um, I've got Resilience, which is another buff. I've just got one point on it. I'm not sure how many points I'm going to put. Really have to play around with the skill. Uh, basically, it's a defensive buff when it procs. We've got Ascension. Uh, one thing to note about Ascension is that it's got 50% uptime, but while it's up, it's a 200% damage steroid. Seems pretty nice. Along with that, we get Clarity of Purpose, um, which gives us crazy reduction to like Life Leech Resist, Energy Resist, or Energy Leech, um, and a ton of Stun Freeze, Petrify, and Trapment duration, with the main important thing, Percentage Offensive Ability Scaling, which is basically like your Accuracy slash Crit. Uh, if I remember correctly. Then we've got Cyclone. It's called Eye of Reckoning. It's basically spin to win. Never used it before. Pretty excited. Uh, going to the right, we have Soul Fire, which basically gives it, I'm not really sure, but I know it gives it extra flat fizz and it reduces the target's damage, which is going to be real nice. I've got one point in a Summon Guardian of Empyrean, mainly because it says he scales off of my stats. And if you look at the bottom stat, he has minus 32 physical resistance to enemies, which is super good. And then for our super buff, we've got Divine Mandate. Divine Mandate's going to give us a huge steroid of physical damage, along with a percentage critical damage buff, and we get slow resistance. And for Soldier, pretty much we're getting buffs. That's really about it. We've got Fighting Spirit, Offensive Ability and Damage. We've got Men Here's Will, Prox and Heals You. We've got Military Conditioning for Physique Stacking. Shield Training because it's we're using a shield. Uh, we've got Field Command, which is Offensive Ability, Defensive Ability, and Armor. Decorated Soldier for Damage, Elemental Resistance. One Point in Warcry, mainly because it can proc Devotions. And then Squad Tactics. Okay, and the last thing to check out is the Devotions. Not 100% sure on this one how we're going to progress it, but just to show you guys some of the things we're working towards, uh, we've got in this one, uh, Olrion, which has Big Dick Physical, which you'll see here, Physique Cunning Health, 80% Fizz, uh, Offensive Ability, Resistances, Health, uh, Flat Fizz Scaling, Percent Fizz, and then I've got Blind Fury, which is 100% chance on crit to proc with our Whirlwind. I don't know the best scenario for how we're going to set up our procs yet. Um, I've got Olzod as well, another physical damage powerhouse. Uh, you can see here, actually not that much, just one main big... Oh, here we go, two ones, plus a flat physical. And then I've got Olzod's Decree uh, on Warcry. Notice that if something has a percentage chance to proc, but the skill has a cooldown, the chance for it to proc actually goes significantly up. We also have another big one here called Arzaka, which gives 80% Fizz, Flat Health and Armor, Flat Health Defensive Ability Movement Speed, Defensive Ability Attack Speed, 
huge flat phys or huge percent physical and then I've got shifting sands which I don't have anything set because I was changing stuff around right now I think this is gonna be on blitz uh, then I've got shield maiden shield maiden mainly, mainly because we've got a shield so trying to stack as much mitigation as possible um, unfortunately these two points are pretty garbage but we've got shield damage blocked uh, reduced stun duration extra shield damage block shield recovery time uh, plus the shield damage block and block chance then moving on the left side here these are the ones we're going to pick up sooner uh, it's just pretty much physical damage scaling physique movement speed etc uh, we also have currently turtle lion um, this is pretty much just for the shield proc this is just overall it's been buffed so you now get the uh, this is like a four percent physical mitigation i think uh, hammer Pretty much this is all just to get us uh, 20 purple. There is Anvil. Anvil gives uh, Anvil gives a really cool buff, which is Targo's Hammer, which is chance on block. Remember that a lot of procs in this game are on hit or on block, which means you can support them on all of your auras, which is really nice. Um, and then another really important one is Assassin's Mark, which basically is minus 32 Fizz Res. I've got this on our little Guardian. I don't remember if it stacks or how they stack with all of the percentage modifiers. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the character, and I'm excited to get it going. Uh, and then I've got Crown. It's just another resistance node for basically fillers for the 20 purple. So anyway, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Feel free to drop any questions down below, but I'm not really going to be able to answer them until I've actually played through the game in the expansion remember this is a rough draft and outline i just figured you know maybe you guys want to see what i'm playing and maybe it'll help you guys out a little bit so anyway hope you guys enjoyed yourselves remember if you liked the video please feel free to like share and subscribe and remember you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv pox take care everybody